is one law out there I believe it should be illegal to know. And no, I'm not talking about the Fair Credit Reporting Act. But you know, I got you. I'm going to show you. So with that being said, you know what time it is. Let's get right into it. What's up, family? I'm back with another one. Hey, if you're new to the channel, hey, welcome to the family. So in today's class, we're going to be going over this one law, right? We're going to be talking about this one law. So with that being said, go grab a pen, go get some paper, and you already know, you got to get something to drink because Hey, this is going to be a good one. Before we get into the law, I want to read something really, really quick, all right? So, abusive practices. There is an abundant of evidence of use of abusive, deceptive, and unfair debt collection practices by many debt collectors. Abusive debt collection practices contribute to the number of personal bankruptcy, to marital instability, to the loss of jobs, and to invasions of individual privacy. So after you just read that, I want to show you this one law. I feel like it should be illegal to know. So let's get into it. Man, it's time, it's time, it's time. Because as you know, I talk a lot about the FCRA. I talk a really a lot about the FCRA, the Fair Credit Reporting Act. But now, let's just transition over to the FDCPA really, really quick, all right? So this one, this one law, I believe it should be illegal, illegal to know. All right, so let's get into the um, let's get into these laws. So if you go to 15 USC 1692C, and you can follow along with me as well, um, if you want to pull it up or you can go back and read it. But ceasing communications. All right, so the title of this is 15 USC 1692 Communication Connection with Debt Collections. All right, so. We're gonna go down to ceasing um, communication. So if you read, I'm not gonna read the whole thing, but I'm just gonna read this part right here. So let me make it a little bit bigger so you can see what's going on. So if a consumer notifies a debt collector in writing that the consumer refuses to pay a debt or that the consumer wishes the debt collector to cease communication, further communication with the consumer, the debt collector shall not communicate further with the consumer with the respect to such debt. So there's either two things, either you say, I refuse to pay this debt. You can email, I mean, you can put that in writing and send it to the debt collector, or you can say, um, you want them to cease communications with you, all right? So there's two ways you can go about this. But if you say, I refuse to pay this debt, guess what? They're supposed to stop communication with you. And if they communicate with you, other than these two reasons, then guess what? It's a violation of your rights. I'm not a lawyer, so this is just for education purposes only. So let's just fully break this down. Let's put everything in perspective, all right? For instance, let's just say a debt collector calls you, sends you a letter, sends you an email, talks to you on social media, and you tell them, you notify them, and say, I refuse to pay this debt. Guess what? They're supposed to stop communication. And if they communicate to you after you just said, I refuse to pay this debt, that's a violation. And not only that's a violation, Guess what? Now you have the, the ability to sue them, right? Based off of that violation. Yes, you have the ability to you have the ability to sue them. Now you probably don't know the process of doing it. So we want to make it easy for you, all right? If you notify debt collectors that I refuse to pay this debt, or let's just say you have collections on your credit report right now, or you've been a victim of identity theft or you have a bankruptcy on your credit report. We have a different service where we are helping people knock these debt collection agencies out, right? And knocking the credit bureaus out. So if you have a collect, right now if you just have collections, if you have a bankruptcy, or if you have, if you've been a victim of identity theft, text the word collection, or text the word identity theft, or text the word bankruptcy, 
to this number that pops up on the screen because we want to be able to service you and help you because we know that credit bureaus and these debt collectors have been violating your rights. So we've been working really, really hard to put this service together, all right? As you know, we wasn't taking no clients, but now it's time. So if you have a collection, if you have a bankruptcy, or if you've been a victim of identity theft, make sure you text the word to this number right here, 407-863-3024. And I, once again, 407-863-3024. Screenshot it, take a picture, text the word so we can help you and service you. One of our team members will get back to you so we can schedule a call so we can help you knock these people out, all right?